Hello everyone. Today we will learn how to run a wine sample on a cash still in order to measure volatile acidity. Let's take a look at the apparatus first. On the right we have the boiling chamber. Water needs to go into the boiling chamber in order to heat up the wine sample and volatilize the acetic acid. The wine sample goes into the sample chamber located within the boiling chamber. We have access to both these chambers through the funnel at the top. Notice the stopcock on the funnel. When horizontal, it is in the closed position. To gain access to either the boiling or sample chamber, it needs to be turned to the vertical position. Depending which end is up, it selectively opens one or the other. It is a good idea to mark one end with a different color and remember which chamber it represents. In our case, red and up means access to the wine sample, green and up means access to the boiling chamber. On the left, we have the cooling chamber. Cold water runs through the cooling chamber in order to condense the volatilized sample traveling through the inner glass coil. Before running samples, make sure the cooling chamber has a steady supply of cold water by slowly opening the sink tap connected to your apparatus. Make sure the cooling water evacuates correctly through the middle hose into your sink. Time to add water to your boiling chamber. Remember that stopcock? We will need to turn it green and up in order to be able to do that. Once it is open, we can start pouring our water into the boiling chamber. Pour enough that it covers the coil by at least an inch. We are now ready to add our sample. With the stopcock now in the closed position, add 10 milliliters of your wine sample. Three drops of 0.3% hydrogen peroxide. And one drop of anti-foam to the funnel. Turn the stopcock clockwise to the vertical position with the red end up. Add about 100 milliliters of distilled water to the sample chamber. You are now ready to turn on your apparatus. Make sure the stopcock is in the closed position. Ensure your system is closed by adding some distilled water to your funnel. The coil will start heating, the water will reach boiling point and will volatilize the acids of interest in your sample. The vapors will travel from the sample chamber through the coil in the cooling chamber where they will condense. Make sure you have a collecting flask underneath your cooling chamber. Collect 100 ml of your distillate. Replace your collecting flask with a waste container. Then turn off your machine. 
It is now time to evacuate the sample. Turn the middle stopcock to the horizontal position. The sample will be evacuated through the middle hose into the sink. Time now to clean the sample chamber. With the middle stopcock in the vertical position, add distilled water to your sample chamber, then evacuate. Repeat the process three times. Your machine is now clean and ready for your next sample. If you don't want to run any more samples, drain the water from the boiling chamber into the sink by unclamping the draining hose. Be careful, the water is hot. Now turn the cold water tap off so that you can drain your cooling chamber. In order to do so, disconnect the hose from the tap. The water will now drain into your sink. And that is it for this video. In the next one we will show you how to titrate the sample you just collected and the calculations necessary to determine the amount of VA in your sample. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.